The 61st annual Grammy Awards have wrapped up tonight. Childish Gambino won Song of the Year and Record of the Year for This Is America. And Casey Musgraves won Album of the Year for Golden Hour. Two people from North Carolina also taking home awards tonight. Duke grad Eric Oberstein helped produce the Best Latin Jazz Album. And UNC History Professor Bill Ferris won Best Historical Album for Voices of Mississippi. Among tonight's winners, Lauren Daigle, who took home Best Contemporary Christian Music Album and Best Contemporary Christian Music Performance and Song. CBS 17's Tonight Wright spoke with the Grammy winner earlier this week about all her success. Lauren Daigle has a chart-topping Christian album. Her current single, You Say, has been number one on several streaming platforms for several weeks now. All that success hasn't jaded the singer. It's inspired her. You Say was written, it was right after the Dove Awards, my very first Dove Awards. Lauren Daigle. Yeah. And I remember feeling like, okay, what is all of this? Like the red carpet and kind of the energy of it all. I was just like, this is so wild. I'm like a small girl. Like I'm from Louisiana. I remember going in the studio the next day and just telling my producers, I don't, I don't know what I'm signing up for. I remember my producer saying, well, we should replace these lies that you're believing with the truth. The truth is, Lauren Daigle, whose voice has been compared to Adele's, is racking up awards and shattering records. Her song, You Say, has spent more time at number one on the Christian music charts than any other song in history. It also made the 27-year-old the first ever female artist to have a song in the top 10 of both Christian and popular music charts, and now, it's Grammy nominated. Grammy nominations in general, that is such an honor. Like I've grown up, I would record on VCR <laughs> tape with the Grammys and then go back and watch them over and over and over again and just study people's acceptance speeches or the performances or what people wore. I just remember being so enthralled by that honor. I mean, the greats are in that space, right? You Say is a contender for best contemporary Christian music performance song. It's featured on her album, Look Up Child, also nominated for a Grammy in the Best Contemporary Christian Music Album category. Lauren has now been nominated for four Grammys since her career began in 2015. I'm kind of blown away. It's a pinch, it's definitely a pinch me moment. Look Up Child has sold more than half a million copies since its release in September of 2018. It was Billboard's top Christian album of the year. Achieving those stats and claiming 11 Christian Music Awards to date leaves little doubt that she has become a force in that genre and appreciates the moments her songs touch the listeners. I can't believe that I get the honor of just hearing people connect with the music that I've made and the message and um, it's really beautiful. Lauren wants to reach all audiences with her music and it appears she is. Her album debuted at number three on the Billboard 200 chart in its first week, above mainstreamers like Ariana Grande, Drake, and Cardi B. She is, not surprisingly, Billboard's top Christian artist of 2018. Christian music, I feel like in a way found me. I keep fighting voices in my mind that say I'm not enough. It was the first thing that kind of crossed the table um, as far as like record contract and stuff like that, but the message of Christian music is what I love so much. I love people being able to find hope in a hard time and um, just the truth of Christ. I want everybody to know his goodness and his kindness and his love and his acceptance of people, his understanding of people. I think we live in a world where there's so many harsh lines drawn and there's so many pointing fingers. But Jesus was one that he dined with people that the world pushed out, right? And so I think um, it's the message. That's what I love. If you'd like to see Lauren Daigle perform for yourself, she is going to take the stage at the Duke Energy Center Friday, March 15th. Tonight, right? CBS 17.